Hello there, welcome back to another gameplay video. Today I've brought you Azalea. I'm playing the list that Brody Spurlock used to win the 20k Invitational over in America. It's such a fun hero. And yeah, the list is really aggressive, um, which you know, is the most fun, to, uh, fun way to play this hero in my opinion. I've played a Bolton just now and I think you'll enjoy this game. It's quite back and forth and it wasn't quite clear who's gonna get this so without further ado enjoy that and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay seems like we're playing against Bolton. I do want don't I, I don't want to, to give him first here because that's just a free recharge on the soul most of the time for him. And Azalea on the other hand has the possibility to to go over the top with Dominate on her first turn. Other than that, we're just running the most aggressive version of the sideboard here. And we're probably just able to damage him. Not even even full combo with Sabres, just Dust Bane. Um, makes sense, I guess. Yeah, I think that's, that might be the right, correct call. We basically want to look for a dominated arrow, so we are drawing and then we're just gonna look if we get something here. Yeah, we don't. In that case we are probably just going to play that out so we can use the scalp on cross wrap next turn and put this into our arsenal. <laughs> And don't let Bolton filter this way. We'll probably just answer with some small attack and something to put in a saw. And then we get a 5 card hand. Exactly. Most likely this will just go through as it is and then it's our turn. Very nice. First of all we'll have a look. Interesting. Do we want that? I would argue we don't. We'll play this out. Use our bow. We we'll use our bow to draw a card, and then we can once again look for something on top. And that means we'll be able to shoot dominated arrow this turn, which is which is very nice. And we'll also get the thunder token. Uh, the aim counter doesn't matter though. There we go. Sleeped out very good against Bolton. Obviously, denies him the possibility of giving go again. Does he actually take this fully? Darts. Interesting. That's one way to get Gorgon though. We may might be looking at a Snapback Scalers on our next turn. Let me think about that. That's fine. Now we'll have a, another look at that. Spare Sniping triggers first. So we can actually make sure to get the red and the ledger here. We do have a buffer too, so that sounds quite good. Mm. Right, leave that on top. And then we're gonna use Azalea. Then pitch for that ice so he has to discard when the red and the ledger hits. Of course, if red and the ledger hits, the discard isn't actually that important, but it gives us a chance of hitting a, a key piece of his combo here. Okay. 
Aurea's dad. Pitching look that interesting. What does that mean? Is there another Lumina in hand? Also, we're really getting unlucky with the draws here, aren't we? I mean, I should have put that bolt shot on bottom, that was my bad. Mm -hmm. sure. And now I suppose there'll be a Lumina. Just bolt of courage, which I am inclined to block here. I'll probably just do that. Interesting. Sure, we can play it that way. The drill shot isn't what we want to see, but what can you do about it? Still a bit of damage still in Arsenal. At this point, Bolton doesn't doesn't stand too bad. But we're still playing as Alia, and with hands like these, there's a good possibility of us coming back. Yep, we take vanilla damage. Courage token, it's annoying, but we'll take it. Oof. Well, that's unlucky, okay. Uh, fortunately, we do have the the arrow in, in Arsenal. Yeah, but that means no other actions this turn. It probably is a, a Snapdragon Scalar turn now, otherwise we'll just have a full full hand and we might get close to actually dying if we're not blocked. Therefore we should throw on the Snappies here, use Death Dealer for the Red and the Ledger and then at least we'll be threatened something. This is also very nice. Now he will be forced to either take the retina ledger or block with some cards out of his hand. Even if he doesn't block here, we just you no know, deny two of his of his armor block with the on head of closure. So yeah, for one monster, actually not too bad. This. And we, we are actually able to play this if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Okay, insane luck here. <clears throat> that was really nice for our next turn. Now let's see what's his answer here. Unfortunately, there's still the possibility of just two equipments and one hand card. But I do think we are able to survive um, a three card hand. No blocks then? Oh, okay, that wasn't as quick as it was. Two blocks on hand, we take those. <laughs> well, 
we saw that coming all the arrows we drew. <laughs> now we can I need to get lucky on the skull skull bone with what we have on top. Shit. Well we'll still we will still need to flip Azalea here. And Wow, okay, like that. No need for an aim counter. And now we're able to pump that up to a 16, which is quite crazy. He will need to... If he doesn't have a soul shield, he should be dead here. Does he live? It does seem like he has a, he has a soul shield. Oh, reinforce the line. Didn't expect that. Yeah, but as a, as a Leon, what a fun hero. Dominated 16. <laughs> Do you want to undo? Yeah. able to do another opting and therefore making sure we oh, we hit an arrow okay now do your blocks correctly please That should have him live on yes. one HP. He has to pay into the blood rot though. Oh, but he does have. Oh, okay. So you just wanted to full block it then. Had everything he needed. Very nice for him. Though, so we're just going to throw the next thing at him. Uh, how do we want to start? I actually think the draw is more important than anything here. So I'm stuck like this. I can take this. Play this, play that. Or some to use quite some cards to block here. Then we have quite a good, good arsenal target. He does have bait for scene, so at least he'll be able to block four efficiently. That doesn't mean he lives though. If he blocks another three, he lives on three. But that would also mean remorseless hit, and he's only able to make three actions on his next turn. Now we have an even better situation plus having an arsenal card. This is quite an okay draw. Not like that at all. We should definitely look for we should look for dominated arrows here, but I don't mind this either. The worst thing for him will be this, I'm pretty sure. So we start like that. Okay. 
threatening seven and then another let's see three six ten mm -hmm. casual seventeen take it okay actually yeah shouldn't be able to block this out fully anyways Don't want to use that, so we are able to use the bow. Now, do we send this for? Well, actually, first of all, we look for the dominate, for the potential dominate. Well, that's still okay. Now the question becomes: Do we just look for seven here, or for the full ten? And I think the full ten is the answer, because that makes it quite likely for this to go through, and then therefore giving him blood rot and securing a kill and that should be it then yep okay okay and the blood rock kills him ggs that's azalea what a fun deck if you're interested in a and a very successful if i may say so katsu list then just uh, look into what i've uploaded yesterday and have a good day see you tomorrow